We worship you on this morning, oh God. We love you with all of our hearts, our minds, our soul, our bodies, and our strength. Lord, your word says in the book of Psalms, chapter 25, They that trust in the Lord shall be as Mount Zion, which shall not be removed, but shall abide forever. I thank you right now, God, for giving us another precious morning to be alive, to see another sunrise. God, we are grateful to you this morning. We worship you, O God. We magnify you, O God. We love you with all of our hearts, our minds, our soul, our bodies, and our strength. We love you with everything in us this morning, O God. We love you on this morning, O God. We worship you, O God. We worship you. We worship you, O Lord. We worship you, Jesus. We worship you, Lord. We worship you, O God. We worship you on this morning. We love you with all of our hearts. We magnify you this morning. We bless you, O oh Lord. We bless you this morning, O oh Lord. We bless you this morning. We honor you, Jesus. We honor you. Listen, I want to read the word of God to you, and then I'll go into prayer for just a few more minutes on this wonderful morning, coming from Psalm chapter 37. Don't worry about the wicked or envy those who do wrong, for like grass, they soon fade away. Like spring flowers, they soon wither. Trust in the Lord and do good. Then you will live safely in the land and prosper. Take delight in the Lord and he will give you your heart's desires. Commit everything you do to the Lord. Trust in him and he will help you. He will make your innocence radiate like the dawn. And the justice of your cause will shine like the noonday sun. Be still in the presence of the Lord and wait patiently for him to act. Don't worry about evil people who prosper or fret about their wicked schemes. Stop being angry. Turn from your rage. Don't lose your temper. It only leads to harm. For the wicked will be destroyed. But those who trust in the Lord will possess the land. Friend, I just want to join my faith with you, my precious sister, my precious brother that's tuning into this morning prayer. Join your faith with me. I lift you up before the Lord right now. I cover you in the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. I declare over your life that no harm will come to you this day. I declare over your life that every wicked plot of the enemy will cancel the plans of the devil over your life right now in the name of Jesus. Because the word of God declares in Luke chapter 10 verse 19, Be Jesus said, Behold, I've given you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy and absolutely nothing shall by any means hurt you. The word of God declares in 1 John chapter 4 verse 4, For greater is he that's in us than he that's in the world. Lord, your word says in 1 John chapter 5 verse 4, This is the victory that overcomes the world, even our faith. I join my faith right now with my precious sister. I join my faith with my brother, our precious partner, the friends of this ministry. God, that's tuning into this, to this broadcast right now. I pray for them in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray, God, that you strengthen them. I pray that you would guide their steps. Lord, your word says, the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord and he delights in his way. God, David said, your word, O Lord, have I hid in my heart that I may not sin against you. God, I pray for myself, my family. I pray for our viewing audience family. God, I lift them up before you right now. In the name of Jesus, that wife, God, that wife that feels like giving up, 
I pray you would touch her, God. I pray you would strengthen her, God. I pray that you would encourage her right now. In the name of Jesus, I pray for every woman that's tuning into this broadcast. You're suffering from a broken heart. Oh, and I pray that the Holy Ghost would take your broken heart and mend it back together right now. In the name of Jesus, I pray that God would remove the scars, the scars of disappointment, the scars of being betrayed from off of your life. In the name of Jesus, I pray for that precious person, God, that's at the end of their rope, that feels like giving up, God, that feels like, like throwing the towel in, that, that, that's saying in their heart, I can't go on another day, but I lift you up in the name of Jesus. I break every demonic attack from off of your life in the name of Jesus. I declare over your life that you shall live and not die to declare the works of God. I declare it under the anointing of the Holy Ghost that you shall live, you shall live, you shall live, you shall live and not die. You are not giving up. You are not throwing the towel in. I rebuke the enemy off your soul right now in the name of Jesus. Come on, lift your hands to heaven and worship God with me. For the Bible says God has given us the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. If you just lift your hands and join your feet with me in worship right now, that demonic presence, that burden would be lifted right now in the name of Jesus. I rebuke it. I command the devil to leave you alone. Loose them and let them go, Satan. Loose them and let them go. We take authority over you. Jesus Christ have defeated you over 2,000 years ago. You only belong one place and that is under our feet in the name of Jesus. Come on, my friend. Come on, dear brother. Come on, dear sister. Lift your hands to heaven and begin to praise him. Lift your hands to heaven and begin to praise Him for victory is coming to your life on this morning. Victory is coming to your life. Victory has come into your situation this morning. Come on and lift your hands. Begin to worship Him. Begin to magnify Him. As see brokenness is touching some people. As see tears is beginning to flow down your face. God has given you the victory. David said, when I cry unto you, then shall my enemies turn back. For this I know, that God is for me. God is on your side. He said, I have heard your cry, and I have seen your tears. And he has come down this morning to bring deliverance to you, to bring deliverance to your husband, to bring deliverance to your children. In the name of Jesus, oh, come on and praise him with me. Come on and magnify him. Come on and worship him. Oh, we magnify you this morning, oh God. Oh, how we love you this morning. We bless your name, oh God. You're worthy to be praised on the dawn. You're worthy, oh God. Come on, pray in the Holy Ghost with me for just a few short minutes. Come on, let it come up out of your spirit. For the word of God declares, out of your belly will flow rivers of living water. Let it flow, let it flow, let it flow. The Bible says, would you, beloved, building up yourselves on your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Ghost. The Bible says, he who speaks in an unknown tongue speaks not unto men, but unto God. However, in the spirit, he is speaking mysteries. Come on, lift your voices. Open your mouth and pray in the Holy Ghost. Come on, let it pour from up out of you. Let it pour from out of your, out of your belly. Let it come out. Oh God, we love you this morning. We love you, Jesus. Oh, we love you, Lord. I declare victory over your life. Go forward today. Go forward. For the Lord your God is with you. Wherever you go, there shall no man 
be able to stand before you all the days of your life as he was with Moses, as he was with Joshua. The Lord your God is with you. God bless you. We love you.